Homeward Bound, November 5, Implanted Grace Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4, verse 7 It is the grace that Christ implants in the soul which creates in us enmity against Satan. Without this converting grace and renewing power, we would continue the captive of Satan, servants ever ready to do his bidding. But the new principle in the soul creates conflict where hitherto had been peace. The power which Christ imparts enables us to resist the tyrant and usurper. Whoever is seen to abhor sin instead of loving it, whoever resists and conquers those passions that have held sway within, displays the operation of a principle holy from above. The antagonism that exists between the Spirit of Christ and the Spirit of Satan was most strikingly displayed in the world's reception of Jesus. It was not so much because he appeared without worldly wealth, pomp, or grandeur that the Jews were led to reject him. They saw that he possessed power which would more than compensate for the lack of these outward advantages. But the purity and holiness of Christ called forth against him the hatred of the ungodly. His life of self-denial and sinless devotion was a perpetual reproof to a proud, sensual people. It was this that evoked enmity against the Son of God. Satan and evil angels joined with evil human beings. All the energies of apostasy conspired against the champion of truth. The same enmity is manifested toward Christ's followers as was manifested toward their master. Whoever sees the repulsive character of sin and in strength from above resists temptation will assuredly arouse the wrath of Satan and his subjects. Hatred of the pure principles of truth and reproach and persecution of its advocates will exist as long as sin and sinners remain. The followers of Christ and the servants of Satan cannot harmonize. The offense of the cross has not ceased. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. As Satan endeavored to cast reproach upon God, so do his agents seek to malign God's people. The spirit which put Christ to death moves the wicked to destroy his followers. All this is foreshadowed in that first prophecy, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And this will continue to the close of time. The Great Controversy, pages 506 and 507.